Hi, Kegnistas. It's Marisha. We are in the holiday season, making holiday favorites. And I, I almost thought I was going to sing that whole thing through, but I didn't know where I was going. So, one of my holiday Christmas time must haves Ferrero Rocher. And that is also something that has to be in my stocking. I got to have me a Ferrero Rocher. It doesn't make any sense. I did do a Ferrero Rocher cake on the channel, which is so decadent. It's got a gold drip. It's got chocolate. What in the world, Marisha? For this video, we're going to make some Ferrero Rocher cupcakes. I ordered the Ferrero Rochers online for pickup, and then when I picked them up, they were like, we're all out of the ones that you want. They sent me a variety pack, maybe milk and dark. I really don't even know because I don't get the variety pack, but now that means I have to do different flavors of Ferrero Rocher. So hey, why not? It's the holiday season. So if you have not done so yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, press on the notification bell, and let's get Here are all of the ingredients that I'm going to be using for my chocolate cake. I have in a bowl all of my dry ingredients, my all-purpose flour, unsweetened cocoa powder, baking soda, and salt. I'm now going to add in my granulated sugar. There was a close-up of my granulated sugar. I'm going to combine all of the dry ingredients so that everything is fully combined and it's all one pale brown color. And this is my Drop Dead Delicious chocolate cake recipe, which I have a separate video on. We're just going to make a couple little flavor tweaks to adjust it to our Ferrero needs. So now I'm going to add in some hot, hot water and some oil. And I am going to go ahead and give this a quick mix. You can see that water is steaming. I just want to make sure that all of that cocoa powder touches that hot water so that it starts that blooming process. So I'm not going to fully mix. I'm just going to partially mix. All right. Now we're going to add in some flavoring. I have here my vanilla bean extract that I make myself, which I definitely need to re-up on. I'm going to add that. I added in some vinegar. I'm going to add in my egg. A Ferrero Rocher has the flavor of hazelnut. Hazelnut is a little bit hard to find. I've never even seen a hazelnut extract, and that's probably because I've never looked. But what I do have is almond extract. I'm going to add some almond extract in here. And really, all you need is a good nutty flavor. That will pretty much give you the Ferrero Rocher flavor. It does not have to be just hazelnut. So another thing that I actually found out about Ferrero Rochers, which I'm definitely going to get tongue tied on soon, is that they have walnuts in them as well. So it's not just hazelnuts. I have plenty of walnuts. So look, I am dumping the batch into the batter. Hear those sleigh bells ring on ting 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 a ding too. It's always funny to me when people start like whispering while they're singing like it's getting I don't know what that means But it's just really funny and that's in a commercial. I think it's for Oscar Mayer. Anyway, I'm gonna put my batter into my cupcake pan I'm actually only gonna make eight cupcakes here because I'm thinking of making some parfaits as well So I am only going to fill eight of those cupcake cavities and then I'm going to put the rest in a cake pan This is going to bake in a 350 degree preheated oven for about 16 minutes 16 to 17 depends on how much you fill it up now this is the rest of the batter going into my silicone square pan. This also baked for 15 minutes. Mine is on hazelnut cracking duty. These are those holiday nut mixes that you see around the holidays. And they have hazelnuts, almonds, walnuts, and some other type of nut. I don't even, like what's this? Oh, that's a pecan. Okay, pecans. This is an almond. Yeah, the almonds. You see these in the stores every holiday season. Best way to knack, to crack them? <laughs> knack them. Knack them! Have the bottom and the top in the middle of the nutcracker. I called it go. the ashes. Freshly cracked Freshly hazelnuts. Cracked hazelnuts. I'm just going to chop a few up for the cakes. And, and we're we'll gonna chop them with a knife or with a food processor. 
probably with a knife because I have knives and I don't feel like pulling out any equipment. I think this is plenty of right here. Of course, my hands are freshly washed. You don't want to mess around with food with dirty hands. So now we can get back to the cupcakes. Now I had multiple things going on and my cupcakes stayed in the oven for one minute longer than I wanted them to. So I made some coffee simple syrup. No, it's not strong. It looks strong, but it's not. But what it is gonna do is add some moisture back into that cupcake and add additional flavor. So yeah, I am forcing like drink this. But the top just isn't quite as soft as I like it. That's just me being finicky, but it always works in my favor. So since I have a dark and a milk chocolate forever roche, I'm going to take a little bit of my fudge frosting and mix it with some vanilla frosting. And that will be for my milk chocolate forever roche cupcake. Alexa, what's it called when people sing holiday songs outside of people's houses and nobody asks for it? Oh, Caroling. Thank you. Stop. You're so welcome. I always appreciate. Do you live in a neighborhood where people go caroling? Have you ever stepped outside of any door and seen a group of people caroling? I would literally stop and smile. That would make my. I would sing. I'd be like, anybody need a beatboxer? What's going on? I am going to be using this gorgeous piping tip, but you guys, I forgot what it looked like. It's been about a year since I used it, and I forgot like the pressure that you have to apply in the pull away. Whoa! Whoa! My frustrations always come out through song, and you'll find that out in the video shortly. So now that I've kind of got an understanding, <laughs> I'm going to continue piping. And this is the milk chocolate. Now I wanted it to be much lighter than this, but that chocolate took all the way over. So, you know, but now I'm going to take my fudge frosting and I did make it in the previous video. There's a whole recipe for it. I'm putting that in a piping bag with a regular round tip and I'm going to pipe a simple swirl. What is this called? Wow. What is this called? Just a simple mound? I don't know. A frosting. And I am using actual Nutella. I have that in a sandwich bag and I cut the tip off of the sandwich bag. Just one corner. And I never realized how frustrating Nutella was. I really didn't. I thought it would be piping like a dream but it's piping like a nightmare. And it's gonna give me a hard time. Okay. Oh no 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 no. Oh my goodness, seriously? What in the world? Oh my goodness. You hear the elegant music that I have in the background? It was supposed to deter moments like this, but anyway, I went ahead and I just put it in a piping bag with this, uh, probably a size four piping tip and that worked out well until a little piece of Nutella nut got caught in the piping tip. I stopped, cleared that out and then finally I had a little bit of success. So <laughs> the struggle bus, it tries to come and pick me up and I keep saying, please leave me alone, sir. Okay. I'm not trying to get on that bus. But anyway, <laughs> So I'm just giving a little bit of decoration to the top of the cupcakes. And now I have my chopped hazelnuts. I gave them a nice little rough chop so that I had some larger and some smaller pieces. And I'm going to top each cupcake with some freshly cut and cracked hazelnuts. How about that? See, so we have the hazelnuts on top, we have the walnuts inside, we have Nutella, we have fudge frosting. Now, of course, all we're actually missing is the Ferrero Rochero, and that's coming up next. I'm going to be using those white coconut ones in a different video, so look out for that. Today, we're just focusing on this one and the milk chocolate, which I've never seen this before. I have never actually opened up a dark chocolate one. I don't know what those little balls are, but it looks like a tasty time, kind of. A little scary, but, but it looks good. So I was initially going to put one whole candy on top, and honestly, it just looked a little bit too big, especially for 
what I'm doing with these cupcakes. I want to sell these at an event. And for the price point of which I am selling them at, I'm going to cut each candy in half. And I just thought it would look rustic too. I kind of like the look of it. If it looked good with one whole piece, then I would have left it. I don't know why I just wanted to see the inside of the Forever Rocher. Call me crazy, but don't. Because that's what I like. I think it's rustic, you know? So I'm going to top each cupcake off with a little bit of 14 karat gold leaf. It's Forever Rocher, now if that's not fancy. I love this candy. This is my absolute favorite holiday candy. I was gonna say candy in general. Then Reese's Cups popped in my head and I was like, I'm sorry for almost forgetting about you. So that is how I made Ferrero Rocher cupcakes. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and stay tuned to the end of the video for a link to see how I made my Ferrero Rocher cake a few years ago. Happy holidays to you all. Couture and a Ferrero Rocher cupcake. Bye guys. Oh goodness, if I have any European subscribers, please tell me what Christmas is like in Europe. Tell me that they're really roasting chestnuts over an open fire. I just wanna be a part of it. What did you guys think? Would you try these cupcakes out? Is it too much? You know we have to make a couture, it's for Rare Rocher. If you don't attempt to even make a fancy cupcake here, just put a whole hazelnut. Don't even shell it, don't crack the shell. All right, it's just a part of eating cake nisa, seriously. You have to know when to tickle the fonce. The cake nisa comment of the day is going to go to Tiger Diggs on my strawberry crunch cake and my new camera. Tiger says, do you have a cream dip for chocolate covered apple slices? No, I'm just now seeing this comment. You know what Tiger, I would just use a cheesecake filling. Just cream cheese, a little bit of powdered sugar, lemon zest, uh, maybe a little bit of vanilla, and that's it. Oh my goodness, you commented a lot. Thank you so much for commenting. I really appreciate it. I have to respond to the rest of your comments. If you would like to be featured in the next video, just comment down below and be subscribed to the channel, okay? okay. Let me know what your holiday favorites are down below, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, cake nistas and cake nistos. Snow, snow, snow. <gasps> snow. Ooh. Isn't that just a pretty mess? That's what I, that's the snow.